Hello everyone, how are you? I am Akrash, your teacher here and I will teach you different questions and their answers. So I welcome you on kalastheta.com. So our today's question is All of the following would represent good research applications for cell fractionation except choose 1A isolating ribosomes for in vitro transaction studies B analyzing periplasmic binding protein C characterizing cell membrane lipids D determining whether a bacterium can metabolize certain sugars E obtaining outer membrane proteins for vaccine development and the answer of the question is the correct answer is T determining whether a bacterium can metabolize certain sugars here's why cell fractionation is a technique used to separate different organelles components of cells based on their physical and chemical properties it is commonly used in biochemical and cell biology research to study the fraction functions and characteristics of specific cellular components here's how each option relates to cell fractionation a isolated ribosomes for in vitro translation studies ribosomes are cellular organelles involved in protein synthesis isolating ribosomes allows researchers to study protein synthesis mechanism in control in vitro experiments b analyzing pe periplasmic binding proteins periplasmic proteins are located in the periplasmic space of gram-negative bacteria between the inner and outer membranes. Studying these proteins helps in understanding their function in transport and finding processes. C. Characterizing cell membrane lipids. Cell membrane lipids play crucial roles in membrane structure function and signaling. Characterizing these lipids can provide insight into membrane biology and lipid metabolism we obtaining outer membrane proteins for vaccine development our membrane proteins are important targets for vaccine development against bacterial pathogens cell fractionation helps isolate these proteins for studying their Im immunogenic properties however options option d determine whether a bacterium can metabolize certain sugar involved studying metabolic capabilities rather than isolating cellular components using cell fractionation this type of research typically involves growth experiments and enzymes assays or genetic studies rather than fractioning cell components therefore option d does not represent good research application for cell fraction unlike the other options which involve studying isolated cellular components or organelles Thank you for watching the video. If you have any question related to this video, please post a comment below. If you have any question in your mind, you can also post on the website and I will be answering you in the next video. Thank you for engaging with us. Until next video, bye bye.